what's going on YouTube welcome back to the channel so I have another how-to video here for you maybe we'll call it impressions uh, video so I purchased a 12 by 16 aluminum gazebo from Wayfair by a company manufacturer called GDY uh, so stay tuned I'm going to give you the goods and the bads and give you my recommendation whether you should purchase it or not Why did I choose the gazebo I did on Wayfair? I've been monitoring different companies including Lowe's and Home Depot. I needed a larger gazebo. I had a 10 by 10 that was not big enough. Uh, so I was hunting for about a 12 by 16 range uh, gazebo. Uh, Wayfair has several out there. Uh, so I've been monitoring the price range. One of them dropped to $19.99 on sale. Uh, so I bought it like that. I was not expecting an easy uh, install. Uh, I built it all myself except for a little portion. So it took me five days at around three to four hours per day total. Um, several of those hours were just trying to figure out the directions and what to do here. So in the, this video, I'm going to show you those couple steps where the directions were wrong and give you a couple pointers. When you connect this base panel to the pole, there are tabs on here. The tabs go on the inside. I didn't know whether it be inside or outside. The directions weren't clear. So the tabs go on the inside and you could bend the, the metal on the tabs to make it fit. Some of the screws I'm finding are chewed up a little bit. Um, so I'm, they're, you can't get them down with a screwdriver. So I'm not putting them in and I'm just uh, swapping them out with other screws that I had in the garage. Step five on my directions, there's this plate right here that fits right in and there's two holes on top of this plate um, but they're uh, not used for anything so was, directions were confusing on all right does that uh, make sense but you just put it in there and don't use the two holes at the top of that plate the most tedious part of the whole thing was putting all these clips on all the roof pieces they're used to slide the, the roof pieces into the, the bar there and fit in place but so if you have more than one person what I would do is you have uh, you take one person, go forward in the directions, and start working on these clips while the other person starts to assemble uh, the frame. Step 12 in the directions that I have were wrong, um, so they use the the word or U, and it should have been a V. So uh, part U um, is is that center bolt up there in the middle. V is just a regular screw. So this the, these directions refer to putting these pieces on here so it, it took me a half hour to figure out uh, right from wrong that uh, step 13 in my directions again the, this is the next uh, part where the directions were actually shown wrong so right there it shows that that uh, connection is supposed to be on the top and uh, it's supposed to be on the bottom so I'm going to go ahead and just show you there to give you a vis visualization uh, so this this connection is on the bottom if you look on the directions it was to be on the, the top there so it took me a good hour to figure that out and do it the right way these clips here you could put either in this ring or the back ring I'm going to walk around and just video what the pieces look like before I get any farther for you There were a couple of scratches, but I'd say that, uh, pretty ac acceptable. I don't know if you can see it. There's two scratches right there on that one. And we've got some scratches up there. And I believe there's a little bit on the outside as well. One of the most difficult steps, and it's towards the end, is you need to put these little block pieces uh, in between the beam and the railing. And you put a screw down uh, in that hole up there. And there's another hole in the beam. Well, the... The holes aren't symmetrical from the sheeting down to the beam so what you need to do is push the screw in on an angle start screwing it in and you lift up on the sheet in order to get that leverage for the screw to come uh, through on an angle so what extra parts were available so note again I did not use this the screwdriver that uh, they provided uh, you need to get your own with a thicker head and um, 
So again, there was two screws that were stripped, but they did end up providing extra screws. So I'll have to go back up and where I uh, put the other screws in, replace them with the screws. Uh, I did not need this wrench here. Uh, other than that, there is no other uh, spare parts left. Here's the final look of the gazebo with the netting on. The netting was a little bit tight. We'll see if it stretches out or not. So some of the drawbacks, I uh, would prefer a square post as, a, as opposed to a triangle post because I plan on making uh, a decorative tier out of these concrete bricks here, building it up with a ledge. Um, and then also there's no place to run electrical along the side. Uh, like if you want to put decorative LED lights the whole way across, there's nowhere easy to hang them. Uh, without probably drilling in in the sides. It would be cool if there was an additional hook uh, in the middle up there. It does come with two hooks. All right, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I would absolutely buy this gazebo again. Definitely recommend it to you. The uh, pros definitely outweigh the cons on this. Um, so there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you.